So what are we gonna do? Uh, well, I'm going to go to space, and you're coming with me, and we're gonna try and round it in space, and that's gonna go fucking horribly. I will add. Would you like me to launch? Would you like me to orbital rendezvous with you in space? Yes, we are going to do that. Okay. Um, I'll try um, and launch into a not terrible orbit. So for the what audience happens? watching, we are going to launch rockets. It's two separate rockets. What type of docking port? You're going to have a small docking port or a big docking port? Uh, hold up. No, I'm, design I'm designing the thing first. I'll tell you when it's on. Okay, well, let's, let's just go with a small one because that can fit anywhere, whereas the big one might not. So. Well, the... Wait, are we talking the really small one, or the really big one? Are we talking here? The the Clampertron docking port junior, the smallest one. Uh, let's go with the slightly bigger one. The slightly bigger. Okay, one so the medium bigger. sized one then. The medium, yeah. The camp, the, just the standard one. Clampertron docking port. Yeah. Not the junior, not the senior. Not the junior, not the senior. Oh, forget this is a thing. Nothing. Should I design like a space? What, what are you designing? Shuttle. Okay. Um, should I make like a module for a space station so it's like a space station docked to the shuttle? Kind oh, of? maybe we could we can like we could build like a whole ass station if we want. So give you give you a little station thing a fair few ports so we can like expand it outwards. Hmm. In your this shuttle. This is going to go terribly, but. Eventually, we're going to try and round over with it. We're going to slam into it. The entire thing's going to fucking explode because there's Will no your like, shuttle have a cargo reloading. Bay? Um, I can give it one. Because you could bring a it. module yourself as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so yeah. make it a I little one. I can make an SSTO. Mm. Uh, I'll try that later. <laughs> I, I haven't ever done an SSTO before. They're quite hard to make, like fuel efficient, if you will. Okay, do I make it carry Kerbals or do I make it a drone? Um, make it carry Kerbals because then you could be the transport for people because we don't want Boeing to. <laughs> <laughs> Who built the shuttle? What company was that? Please don't say it was Boeing. Which one? The space shuttle. Who built it? Isn't that NASA? No, but NASA, I mean, oh, NASA designed it. Who built it? Yeah, I mean, who built it doesn't really matter if you like. No, but I mean, design. Boeing built the first stage of the Saturn V. <laughs> like... Oh yeah, they, they they built it, but they didn't design it. Whereas Boeing have designed that new thing, and it's gone fucking horribly because they needed <laughs> to do some eighty-something coding improvements to it because apparently coding rockets is hard now. And SpaceX put touchscreens in it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough, but physical buttons are always more fun. I'm sorry, Elon. They did put both, both by the way. They, they are physical but buttons. Wiki buttons. Hmm? Wiki buttons are fun. No, but they, they, are, they, they are physical buttons below the screens as backups that you can use. Yeah, but why, why would you ever use the screen if you've got... I think the screen's more of, like, um, just a display rather than anything... It's probably more of a show-off thing, to be honest. Just to show off. Yeah, yes, and I mean, it's it's right good to have information it. displayed on a screen, but the fact that it's a touch screen is another <laughs> level on top of that. You know, <laughs> um, it's like cool. You've got these three screens; they can display your orbital information, your docking procedure. The docking is quite helpful because then you have something in front of you showing you the docking camera. Cool, that's fine. Um, why you need to touch it? Less fine, but I mean, it's. If you want to switch between different displays and things, that's fine too. So I mean, it does make sense, and the physical buttons are still there, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to put another clampertron inside the docking bay. Woo. Yeah. Uh, uh, just put some RCS thrusters on your module so that you can just bring it out and dock it. There we are. I don't even know what I'm gonna put on the inside of it. Maybe I'll just put like a crew module on the inside. Let's start with the crew module. I'm not sure what kind of... Okay, you, you bring the crew with... module, and I'm I'll bring some I'm going to start with a little else. escape module. A little escape module, that's what it's going to be. 
Okay. I'll build a little bit of a crew habitation section then. It'll be the crew habitation slash power section, because that's the things you need the most. Um, unless I do two launches, I could bring up... Because if I make a rocket you, that you, works you quite well... You need to well, bring up the core. Yeah, I'll bring, bring up the core. The core so should yeah. I launch first? Bring up the core, uh, then yes. you bring the second section, and I'll launch again and bring up a... I don't know, something else. I've got an array of solar panels that shouldn't obstruct any other modules trying to attach. And I've put two Tampatron ports on the sides, two on the top and bottom, and then two smaller ones on either side of the other ones, which means that we can build pretty much anything you want to this station. Right. Um, we should be good without batteries. This. this seems so ugly. <laughs> Apparently we won't be good yeah. at that. So, I'm gonna what is that clipping through? Oh, that's part of the air Oh well, it won't care. Um, where's my tail fins at? Yeah, that's really what I wanted to do, isn't it? Jesus, what the hell? Uh, it's functional plane construction time, kids. I'm just going to add some radio communication to the side of this thing, because that's always helpful. Okay, question to Delta Wing or to not Delta Wing? Well, it's a space shuttle. <laughs> Delta Wing it is. I don't even know if this is going to be aerodynamically viable because for some reason in the VAB the aerodynamic uh, the center of lifting is completely broken, which is really quite helpful when trying to build a space shuttle. You know. Yeah. Don't don't, <laughs> don't need to know how aerodynamic I am at all. Or if I'll fly at all, it's not you important. Built enough planes, it's fine. And that's. Take the extra liquid fuel, remove the oxidizer because I don't need it. Am I good to launch? Oh yeah. Okay. I am a long way from being done. I'll try and launch as in the as equatorial an orbit as I can, so it doesn't become a mission. Um and then I will start working on my second module so that your module can fit to it as well. It is it, two hundred mon monopropellant total decent. Um, how much do I good enough, right? How, how much do they use? Not very oh, these things only use like no, These things only use like 0 0.2 monopropellant a second. Okay. Uh, I, I have monopropellant for days. Hold up. 200 divided by 0. Point, is it 0. 0.02 or 0. 0.2? 0. 0.2. Le legit a thousand seconds, which is like 16 minutes or something. And use it 16. for orbital maneuvering. Yeah. <laughs> I've got. How much do I have? I've got 720 monopropellant on board. Because <laughs> it's a station, uh, it'll need it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, re. No. Oh my god, there we are. I'm going to put it on the tips of the wings. The good thing about space planes is. And just put the monopropellant, like the thrusters, sorry, on the edges of the wings, and it gives you like loads of leverage for turning. I wasn't paying attention to my launch, and now I'm like, uh. really not going very well. Um, gravity turn equals no. <laughs> I'm used to realism overhaul, where it just kind of happens if you slightly adjust at takeoff, but anyway. We'll cut the engine there, coast to Apogee, and then sort it out. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. What, what is the center of lift doing? Yes. The center of lift is slanted for some reason now. What does that happen? I've never seen a slanted center of lift before. I'm very confused. Yeah, this thing should maneuver pretty well, though. Hey, he flies pretty good for a Brit. 
Ah, need a little wing. Come on, Rocket, I need you to be in orbit now. This is not orbit. <laughs> I have to be in orbit, but I don't know how long this is going to go. Come on, Rocket. Okay, we're in orbit. It's quite a high orbit. I hope that's okay. <laughs> uh, I hope I can get there. I mean, I could... Like, last chance to say anything, because my periapsis is 70 and my apoapsis is 100, so I can choose between the two. Um, I might do... Uh, I'm going to but, assume low is probably going to be better. I'm going to do 85 by 85, because that's the least fuel required to change the orbit. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not, but it's... There needs to be something below so that you can catch up if you need to be in a lower orbit. <laughs> so... I'll do 85 by 85. No, this was a mistake, wasn't it? Uh, extend saddle panels. Extend. Extend. Hmm. This is proving problematic. Oh no. I have done this to myself. Probably cheating. Hold up. Quality idea for me. Uh, just rip the wings open temporarily. Press C, put them to there. And then. Uh, I'm back. Cool. I'm Ancient designing. <laughs> I'm designing an absolutely gigantic, like crew module thing. Um, right. And that's gonna fit. I'm thinking. Um, so you see, between the solar panels pointing towards the planet, I'm thinking there, and then we have like a another core module looking thing on the other side of that. So it's like a big eye shape. And then yours will be at the bottom in between the other solar panels. Um, and then we can expand from there, because that'll be cool. So what, what about the first stage? Oh, this, the first uh, stage has a thrust uh, a TWR of uh, 1.7. That's fine. That'll... Hop it off the pad nice and quickly. <laughs> yeah, th these are some ridiculous looking boosters. I can't even fit it on the screen. There we are. It still doesn't all fit. There we are. That yes. Perfect. And then just yeah. check your um, other thing, which is your delta V, because that's important. <laughs> uh, delta V. Where's delta V? It's your. It's the number of meters per second, the blue number. Um, oh, at the bottom. Uh, that, that's five thousand. It's a lot. Just under. That'll be fine. <laughs> you need about three thousand to get to above it. Have um, you seen the picture I sent? <laughs> okay, that's a little bit ridiculous, but. Yeah, j just they a bit. all of the space shuttle boosters, so. Are they actually? Is that actually how big they are? I mean, I've stood next to one. I've seen how big they are, but like... Is that actually how big they are compared to the stuff in KSP? Yes. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure those are the ones that you're supposed to use for space shuttles. Um... I didn't even have my main, my engine on when I launched, and it still went flying up. These yeah. boosters are hella powerful. So I'm really far ahead of you, by the way. You might want to sync to me when you're not thrusting things. Uh, my apoapsis is 2,500 and something meters. That doesn't sound right. Uh, am, am I a bit high? 
No, not 2,000. 250,000. 260,000, sorry. <laughs> uh, have I gone a bit much? You are over double the that... height. In fact, you're pretty much triple the height of the orbit you're supposed to be in. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll add my maneuver on the epilapses. Okay. Well, get rid of the bump. Cancel. What's your periapsis? Uh, I'm not actually in orbit yet. I don't know which is the periapsis. The low one. Oh, you don't have a periapsis yet. I'm watching you. Um. <laughs> um. Do, do you, do you like, I have like loads of fuel left. That's why I literally have over half my fuel left. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You're also in a slightly inclined orbit, which isn't going to help you from maneuvering. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, when you get to peri, yeah. get to apoapsis, just maneuver so that your periapsis ends up being around eighty-five, and then yeah, you'll time warp to periapsis and then bring your apoapsis down to eighty-five. Space station, what, we go. Once I'm in orbit, I'll correct my orbit so I'm a bit more in line with where the space station is. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> uh... So the station's core is ahead of me now, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Okay, I am about 40 seconds away now, so I'm going to start burning. Do I just burn at full force towards it? Yeah, that'll be fine, as long as you're stable at full thrust. <laughs> yep, I am perfectly stable. Then yeah, full thrust, and that's your your duration will be at full thrust. Then remember to set your SAS to actually lock onto the maneuver node, otherwise you're yep, gonna have a very done. problematic uh, thing. Okay, um, I'm heading to space now. If you look at the map, you should be able to see me going up there. Uh, I need to sync to you. I didn't want to sync to you while I was like still floating through space, not in orbit, in case it like ran me to the fucking floor. Yeah. Uh, Wait no, don't 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 sink until you're in orbit. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> don't want to sink until I'm like actually in orbit in case it slams me into the ground. Yeah. Okay, just gonna burn for another twenty seconds. I have so much fuel. <laughs> I'm gonna turn SAS off. Who needs SAS? Everyone who flies rockets ever. Uh, okay, so I'm in orbit, apparently. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Is your periapsis above 70 kilometers? Uh, 81. Good. Now, time warp to your periapsis. Uh, off the book. Oh god, am I going... Uh... The station is like right under me. Can I see it from here? You'll need to be within like five good. kilometers to be able to see it. <laughs> Probably uh, not. I'm within 70. That's very far away. <laughs> I'm now within like 20. Well, set the station as target in the map. Just click on it and set as target. Hold up. I'm, okay, I'm near. I'm near the periapsis. What do I do with the periapsis? Um. I just add maneuver. Yeah, add maneuver, and then just bring your and then retrograde burn. Bring your orbit back down to eighty-five. Your apoapsis. Um, right. So I want my. For those of you who are watching. I don't know if you can tell, but he usually flies planes. <laughs> I can only build planes. Rockets are for the weak. It's a lie. Rockets are for the... Rockets are for people who are better at this game than I am. Global <laughs> playing program. Um... Uh... I need to bring my apoapsis down, because I also overshot. Um, okay, station 4, set his target. I see... Down. I actually see your orbit is looking okay. You're at, uh, you're like on your way to apoapsis, aren't you? Uh, or, or now, are you at? now I need I need to burn for six seconds to correct this orbit. That's all I need to burn for. Okay. 
Um, I'm not sure how that... We probably shouldn't have done this at the same time, because... No, no. Burn time two minutes. Oh, God. You're 54 minutes behind me. Shut down. There we go. Oh. What the hell? You overshot. Oh. Yeah, very <laughs> much overshot. It said two minutes, and then it was like, no, fuck you. Oh, that's the wrong direction still. Okay, cool. There we go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. Helpfully enough, um, it said two minutes, so I just max burned, just assuming, oh, two minutes, off we go. And uh, that appeared to not be the case. Yeah. Okay, well, my periapsis is now like 79 kilometers, and I don't like that. I want to make my periapsis a bit wider out. You piss off. Um... um... Okay, I'm thinking if you, it'll probably be quicker for me to dock first, and then yeah. you can sync to me after that, and I can talk you through yeah, the yeah. rendezvous process. Because I think if we sync while we're both docked, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> um, okay, so I will now do a lot of time warping to try and get my orbit correct. Turn SAS off. Let's use an electric charge. Oh, you know what's going to be really fun? Deorbiting this space shuttle and trying to land. Well, if you can't, you can always just leave it in orbit. <laughs> How much delta V do I still have? Ugh. I still have another 1,700 1, delta V. Why has my space station run out of charge? Do, do we need to send it a power module? <laughs> no, it's it's got solar panels. It just doesn't have enough power to last the night, which means I have to dock during the day. Where did the space station go? Did you like try and sync with anything? No. My space station is... De-orbiting is... itself. Is it? Looks fine to me. Is it fine on your end? Oh. Are you yeah, sure it's fine? It's fine? On my end. Are you sure? Yeah, very fine. Because on my end, it's uh, it's gonna deorbit in about thirty seconds. Yeah, I'm good. It is at its lowest point, uh, where it intersects with me. It is at how high up? Pretty high up. Yeah, it's a. Okay, this Actually, is... I'm I'm going to have an encounter with it. I'm gonna come like really close to it. Have you got it selected as a target? Yeah. Okay, you dock to it first, because on my end, it's going to crash. Target, <laughs> target position at intersection. Um... Oh, I know what's gonna... going on. No, I don't, but I think I might know what's going on. I might be giving it control inputs, because it's mine. Oh. Uh... How close is your encounter? Uh, not that close, really. I don't think. Okay, hover over it. It'll tell you. Uh, separation fifty kilometer. I could slow down because I am going faster than it, but then I'd probably deorbit myself, considering my periapsis is really quite low. Yeah, okay. seventy-nine kilometers. Don't... Well, your periapsis can go down to 70. Um, just try and plot a maneuver to get your encounter closer. If it doesn't work, then just leave it and we'll figure it out later. Uh, I need to go back uh, to the space. There's a, another separation there where the separation will be uh, four, no, 30, 35 kilometers. Gonna add a maneuver. I'm gonna try and get that intersection real close. Okay, so according on my end, the space station has crashed into the planet. As it should, as it should. But this is a problem. <laughs> That's 39 kilometers. 
I might need to like disconnect from the server and connect again, because otherwise I'm just not going to be able to dock to something that isn't there. <laughs> no, I'm not going to click that one. Okay, it's now inside kilometers. the planet. As it should be. Okay. I'm going to disconnect from the server and connect them back again. You try and... If you want to stream your um, thing to me, you can. I can try and help you. Uh, I can get a separation of six kilometers. That's fine. However, it does sync my Apple Apsis to non-existence. Oh, okay. Don't oh, do my that. periapsis, sorry. Wait, would it? Oh, yeah, I'd like ram straight through the planet. Not a problem, though. Oh, I reckon I can fix it, though. Can I? Does that fix? Mm, seven kilometers. Fine. Have a look at the station. Kilometer. Station's fine. Uh, it keeps freaking out on my end for no reason. That's 3.7. Okay, the closest I can get is 3.4 kilometers. How's that? 3.4. 3.4. That's pretty decent. Um, once you've done your burn, you'll have to correct it again to try and get to that because there's not a very big chance you'll get it to exactly that. Um, and then you should be able to get it relatively close. But once you're there, you can null out your relative velocity and then just burn towards it. And that should be fine. Hold up. There we are. Here we are. Uh, this is a five second burn time. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> Still, there it is, 40 kilometers away. Just throttle down. Use very low throttle. Like if you yeah. use a third throttle, just times your your time by three. I'm going to record this instead. I'm going to record your stream so that people can see what's going on here instead of oh, just terrible I am. watching nothingness. Um, uh, this, is... this is fine. I have fuel. I have plenty of fuel. We're good. No perfectionist. Uh, yes. <laughs> green is fine. Okay. Now, how close are you to the station there? No, I'm 20 kilometers away from okay. it. Now, but then we get we get closer up here. Yeah. So time warp to just before you get there. Time warp to just before you get there. Very nice. Doing this without quick saving is also not very easy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It's fine. I have a nuclear engine. Okay. Slow down. Stop now. Okay. Now click. You see, there's there's two more things on your SAS now at the bottom. You've got target and anti-target. Yeah. But I'm now, no, no. Click click on retrograde, because this is now retrograde to target. Um. Uh, retrograde. Yep. Now burn towards your retrograde. Speedy speed. Um. Get that. Get your target velocity to zero. Right. Target velocity. So towards retrograde until target velocity is zero. Yes. And then you're going to burn towards the target. Right. I'm I'm going to go towards the target slowly because otherwise I'm going to slam into it. Exactly. So go towards the target at like five meters per second, and then time warp until 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 because you'll you'll drift a bit, um, and then you'll need to. Go retrograde again, and then target, retrograde, target, until you get close enough that you can just dock. <laughs> right. Okay, now okay, so select now, now target. To target. Yep. See, it's going to point you towards okay. it. Very nice. Now burn towards it nice oh, and slow. Yeah. So you can stop it right there, that's fine. Now time warp a bit. Um, until you see your prograde marker move to like 90 degrees off target. So you see how it's drifting there? Oh, yeah. And then go back to. I'll go back to retrograde. 
Oh, retrograde, sorry. And then burn towards that again until your target velocity is zero, and then, yeah. But you'll see it's coming closer to you now, right? Yep. So, so, then, yeah. so then just keep doing this. Keep doing that until you're within, like, a kilometer. You reckon they can get within a kilometer with the big booster still attached? Um, you you might want to just drop it. Um, it'll yeah, be easier to maneuver with the shuttle. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Now, yep. Target again. Do I have plenty of monopropellant? My electrical charge is getting awfully low. This was generating electrical charge before. Yeah, as an alternator. This should have an alternator, shouldn't it? This one has a really low alternator, though. Yeah, that's good. How close are you now? I can't read that. Uh, three kilometers. Okay, it should be getting closer. Yeah. 2. The closer 5, you get, 2. the less 4. drift you'll have between things as well, which is nice. Uh, the same. Oh, I'm within a kilometer. I can see it. Cool. So now, point oh, retrograde yeah, preemptively. Um, uh, retrograde. <laughs> Because you'll need to stop, and then you can perform docking maneuvers. I, I'm going to be within docking range. Of I will have to ditch it to dock, because my docking port's on the bottom. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to want to burn maybe a little bit, but just wait until it's close, uh, within like 300, and then, then ditch this thing. <laughs> ditch this atrocity. <laughs> uh... Getting awfully close, within 300 meters now. It's not burning very slowly. Oh, forget about that. Retrograde. Turn my SAS off very temporarily. Hey, hold on. There Are we you go. Okay, now undock the monstrosity. Bonk. <laughs> go away. Now I'm going to introduce you to a system that you're probably not aware of. Um... Oh, uh, is it the docking system down here? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna turn this engine on. There we are. I'm, I'm recharging. <laughs> Squeeze. Yeah. The any anything you undock from it is, isn't controlled. It just disappears. Okay. So now I need you to use your SAS. Um, I'm gonna turn my reaction wheels off. Can I not yeah. turn my reaction wheels off? Just turn SAS the wheel on. authority down. Um, I've turned it to SAS only, so now I'm but you need you need hardware. SAS to do this though. <laughs> no, no, yeah, but that's why I've turned it to SAS only. Only SAS can use it, so I can. Okay, so then what do I want to do? You want SAS? Um, <laughs> now do the retrograde burn a little bit now, just to get your target to zero. Again. I can't, can't retrograde. Well, you can you can see the marker, so just turn towards it. My target is like 0.8. Actually, no, hold on. Just point, just point, um, target. And then use the docking mode. So click on the docking mode button. Uh, docking mode. Okay, now this is going to be a bit weird, but now try your RCS controls. It's not going to rotate you, it's going to translate you. Push you. Yeah. So. You see how your prograde marker moves around when you do that? Yeah. Move your prograde marker to the target marker. <laughs> um, so yes, it will rotate you if your RCS placement isn't great, which, um, yeah. Which mine <laughs> evidently isn't. But with enough reaction wheel authority, that'll be fine. So now point, uh, now turn off RCS. I turn on uh, SAS. Yep, there you go. See, oh, I'm really low on energy. I need to really throw stuff a bit. Yeah, but now you've just undone that work. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna otherwise run out of power. Okay, hold on. Doesn't the escape thing... pod have solar panels? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it should be fine. As long as I control from here, because it has control, right? And it's the same orientation, so it should be good. Fingers crossed. If I had a pilot, it'd be even better, but I don't. Mm, okay. 
Uh, you will still run out of charge, though. Um, yeah, but that's fine. Okay, now point target. You're pretty much pointing anti-target now. Um, so if you if you tap tab. Yeah. Uh, sorry, maps lock. No, nope, that was wrong again. Um, there's a button. Oh, spacebar. Trust me. Yeah, there we go. Now you're in rotation mode. So it'll be back to normal, but you're still in docking mode, which is quite helpful. Um, just don't press space for when you're not in docking mode, because then you're going to detach the pod. Um, <laughs> you're doing quite well considering the fact that this is the first time you've done it. Um, okay. Um. No, why? <laughs> what is this? You press spacebar oh, wow. in the wrong mode. Okay, switch Damn to it. that. Switch um, and dock uh, with that because it'll be easier to dock this as well. It's good practice. Um. <laughs> hmm. So what? press. This thing doesn't have monitor part. It's drained this thing's monitor part before everything else. What? Why? I want to know if this have monitor propellant. Hold up, I'm going to be angry if all these have full monitor propellant. They do. Why? Why did it drain the thing oh, speed. first? Um. No, oh, well, they can drift into space. They're not important. But you can't, you can't save them at all. How about you switch to them and just bring them to the station? There's enough space for them there. Yeah, they don't have any monitor propellant in the thing. I don't really think I could fly them. No, EVA you could. EVA, I guess. Oh well, these guys yeah, but there's are no, have There's fun also no that. place for them to get into the station. Um, there's no... Hmm. They can grab onto this outer part. This ladder. <laughs> can just stick them to that. <laughs> just oh, have them stand on the outside of the station. I think he should do it. Also, uh, hold up. Can I... If yes, I... you can. RCS. Control from here. Yes. <laughs> this is how you would do it. Um, now okay, you're just so going to dock. This is so one of those actually, in Soviet Russia all, memes. Um, they actually really all lined up with each other. Leave. A little bit right. Back, 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 back. back. <laughs> Don't bump it, because then you undo all that work. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am fully, fully aware. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, are these lights in the front? Yes. That makes my life easier. I can hardly see. I thought I'd turn them on, but anyway. Up. No, I'm going the wrong way. The controls are really, really counterintuitive. Down again. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. It's based on the orientation of the thing you're controlling from. Let's go sideways a bit. Just a bit. It doesn't help that that thing's also moving. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think if you went to it and turned off its SAS, it would stop wobbling, but it might start just rotating. Yeah, but I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even control it, though. I can't even turn the SAS off. It's just locked on. It's been consumed by LMP. Oh. <gasps> oh! You did it! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, uh, I wish there was a quick save function. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a bit hard. Um, but My KSP it, has also figured out the fact that you've docked to it. Please stay in control of that. Um, Close my docking bears, may as well. Do you want me to go and save the Kerbals with the other module? Uh, if you can.
<laughs> You've also... <laughs> Are you synced to me? No, you need to sync to me. Oh, please don't destroy the station. It shouldn't if you don't oh, have a... we're good. We're good. No, You've also managed to change the gone. space station's orbit so much that you have, in fact, um... You've almost deorbited it. <laughs> um, it's very no, it's, it's it's fine. It, seventy-five it, instead of eighty-five. <laughs> no, for me, it's periapsis is eighty, eighty-one. What? No, mine end. My end. It's eight eighty-one six ninety. By the okay, yeah, it was. Sorry, that was the module I'm in. Never mind. Um... You're almost deorbiting yourself. <laughs> yes, okay. I need to time warp ahead, and then you can sync to me later. Is this thing's electric charge going to be recharging? I got to the drone code. I really should have put an electric thing on it. Hey, it is charged! Yay! What are you doing? <laughs> Something's lagging my game a lot. Oh no, that's just the game. Uh, construction noises are back. I'll be right back. Alright. Oh, we're, we're synced. Cool, okay. Um... We should be within 2.2 kilometers on our next sync. If you will sync to me now. Yeah. When I warped, it made the screen go all wobbly. Space station looked like they'd been crushed. What is that other module? Like, like, that's the decoupler. What is that? Oh. Oh, that's the fairing and the big engine. Okay. Oh, there you are, I can see you. Uh, so unfortunately our friends are probably running out of oxygen in space. You'll see the interesting design of the space station when I arrive. It's... let's go with unorthodox. <laughs> okay, this is starting to annoy me now. Every Cornetto that I have pulled out of this box of Cornettos has had a burnt cone. <laughs> How do you even burn a waffle cone? On the last Cornetto I ate as well, which was from a different packet which wasn't burnt, the bottom of that one just fell off, which was fun. I tried to eat an ice cream with the ice cream leaking up the bottom. I probably should have done this burn with the second stage instead of ejecting it like I did, but... <laughs> anyway... Just using RCS to perform a 40 meter per second burn. How far is that tank? Let's see how quickly I can dock to the station, shall we? Probably a lot quicker than I did. I do have a slightly more difficult docking to do as well, though. I have to go in between the solar panels. No pressure. Hmm. You know, it would be no pressure if we had Kerbals. Is your thing that you're flying there manned or unmanned? Unmanned. You killed the Kerbals. <laughs> what do you mean I killed them? They're fine. Oh, well, they're fine. Okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, function. yeah, they're fine. They're there. They're some like seventy kill, seven hundred kilometers behind me, but it's fine. Okay, my target is not two thousand meters per second different from me. Please, game. <laughs> Where are you? Where have you gone? Oh, you're walking. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm gonna target you. I'm gonna uh... shoot you up. You can now uh Sonk. Oh, I just realized because we're both in control here, I could probably get uh force the station to align one of its docking ports with you as well. That would be quite helpful, yes please. <laughs> Once I get close we can decide on a it's one of the two side ports. Um so we've got a space shuttle, we've got an engine I'm gonna steal your fuel, I'm stealing your fuel. <laughs> we need that fuel. 
I, I have my own fuel. Don't need yours. You know what's funny? I think your engine is right through my center of mass as well. I think this would be able to fly with the space shuttle in the front just fine. Not after I've docked. <laughs> okay, sink again. Sunk. No, it's dead time. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm now reducing you, uh, that. Yeah, yeah, nice close up look at my lovely shuttle. I'm just going to try and not crash into the station first, if you don't mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're a big thing. Yeah. I'd like to say if you're a small thing, I can put you inside the shuttle. Getting that big thing in between there is going to be not fun. <laughs> you might want to go for one of the uh, uh, ones where the windows are. Hmm. I can't do that because the windows are um, small docking pods. Are they? By design. Oh. Yeah. Um, mm. Should I go That's above cool. or below the shuttle? It, it, you're going to be below regardless, aren't you, really? No, I mean, okay. That's the wrong way to phrase it. I'm going to come from the direction I'm coming from now. I can see the two lights, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to target that docking port. Uh, which side are you going for? The side that I'm on. Uh, so what is the right side of my shuttle? Uh, yes. Okay, this should target you now. Thank you. I've nulled out our relative velocity, and now I'm just coming towards. Okay, turn off your RCS. I think you're gonna wobble a bit. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is really cool. I can't believe you didn't put a docking port on the bottom of that module. Oh, you got some on the side, it's fine. You can just like fork it out. Nope. What, you bonked it. Game? You bonked it. But I didn't bonk like it. On my screen, I'm not bonking it. Ah, oh, well. Thanks, game. Um, okay, I need you to direct me. Uh, you, you are just bonking it on me. Uh, we'll go back a bit. Very slight bit. Uh, forward a bit more. Please stop. Don't like way too far. Uh, go. I don't know which is up for you and which isn't up. Okay, up is the, up, up is forward for your shuttle. Right, yeah, go up. Easier said than done, as you know. Go up a bit more. Oh, you are rotating the station. Oh, hold up, hold up. Stop moving. Stop. Cease. <laughs> I'm moving away. Right. I'm going to be, be like perfectly still. Okay, you talk to me. I, <laughs> I, uh, uh, idea. Idea. I just... On my I screen, should. I was perfectly lined up and I was going to dock and then it just bunked off the station. Yeah, you, well, you were perfectly lined up on my screen, you just bonked off of it. So I'm bonking off of nothing. Yeah, it just didn't want to connect. I think it just didn't want to merge the two. I mean, I can, like, revert to space center, can't I? Yeah, maybe just... just, uh... control something uh, else. <laughs> no, 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 no. But this is really finicky with the just solar disable panels. the RCS of the thing first. Now stop. just go back to the space station, and let me try and think. Uh, I'll try and switch to something else. Maybe I can switch to... <gasps> oh. Oh. The space shuttle what? exploded. Did it? What? Why? No. Why do you do this? And now the space station is out of control, and not having a fun time. 
Why did the... Are you currently in control of something? <gasps> what is going I'm on? I'm... Switching between stuff breaks it. Yeah, I can tell. So, don't switch between stuff in future. Uh, <laughs> now all that's left in my shuttle is my forward docking port. Where'd it go? Did it just... Uh, okay, I have okay. lots of indicators. So, I don't know which one's the space station. Regrettably, I am about to slam into the ground. In what? This direction. What? What? Wow. This direction's about to hit the ground. I don't know. Switch to. If I switch to this, is this? No, that's the crew module. Yeah, I don't. I think my shuttle just like got annihilated. I'm really confused. Yeah, so am I. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, it looked like it smashed into a plane. It's done this twice now. It's all magical and it keeps coming back. Um. No, I'm pretty sure the core is gone. I don't think it is. I don't think I don't think that we could have imparted the momentum needed to slam it into no, the No, I planet. don't think so either. But the Kraken is fine. <laughs> I'm passing next to what is left of your shuttle right now. What do you mean what is left of it? All that's left of it on my screen is the goddamn um, No, the the docking port is left connected port. to the station, but the rest yeah. of the shuttle is still floating in space. Not um, for me it's not. It is for me. Um no Can well you it's trying to land it. It's not intact enough for me to land it. What do you mean it's not intact enough? My designs are incredibly redundant. It's lost a wing. It's fine. Good. Maybe this so should no be problem. the thumbnail. Oh. Station docking gone horribly wrong. Here's the thumbnail. <laughs> yes. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Zero X is a really square body. Okay. This is going to be... That ended up being like really small, but whatever. Screw it. It's good enough. 